videos for comedic purposes only and do not promote illegal drug use. I think we've all bought from the plug at least once. But for all my homies who live in countries or states where the Zaza still remains forbidden, you have most likely encountered many of them. And well, you know that no two are ever the same. One day you'll meet up with the most savage, straight out of jail, carrying a bazooka in his back pocket looking mofo. And then one week later, hit up your boy, Jimmy the Plug God, and he'll have you pulling up to his nice suburban household like... Yeah man, so, how's it going? Yeah, good? Okay, here's the kush. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Anyway, here are the five types of plugs you'll most likely encounter on your journey to get the magic spice. Number one. The plug who thinks he's an entrepreneur. This is the guy who'll be straight marketing and promoting his illegal business like he was some dropshipping guru. Like bro, I don't know if it's a good idea to be flexing your fat stacks on your personal IG and writing captions like 5 don't know what I'm on, can't stop a young king from thriving, hashtag drug money, hashtag trap king. I know a couple of these plugs and the one thing they always have in common is to inherit an uncontrollable desire to flex on anything and anyone. Just a couple weeks ago, I bought from one of these guys, and in the span of the 3 minute long transaction we had, I learned the following things. Firstly, how much money he made this week. Secondly, that he is moving on to more profitable substances. And thirdly, on how he plans to launder his fat stacks. Like bro, aren't dealers supposed to be more discreet? Talking about being the local Pablo Escobar? Like pretty sure Pablo Escobar wasn't trapping $20 worth of cush in a 2002 Honda Civic, my man. Number 2. The plug that's only dealing to fund his party lifestyle. This is the guy that went to every single party in high school and just wasn't quite ready to move on. So now he is a part-time construction worker, full-time plug. These guys are some of the chillest dealers there are because they don't really take their job too serious. The biggest downside to buying from these types of plugs is that they are really unreliable. So just because they told you, yeah, I got the stuff, write me again in 4 hours, then I'm free doesn't mean that you'll be getting gas anytime soon. Cause when you do ride him again in 4 hours, there's about a 80% chance they'll be already drunk and high at some local club sending snapchat stories like... <laughs> Number 3. The tries his hardest to act gangsta plug. This is the type of dude that'll have you pulling up to the most ridiculous places to secure the kush. Like why the hell are we meeting at the abandoned sawmill at midnight and you're telling me, come alone. Like bro, this isn't some Jackie Chan movie where we're doing some multi-million dollar arms deal. I just wanna buy a eighth bro. But she got me thinking what if I do go all Jackie Chan on him. Next thing I know, I got 10 thugs popping out of the sawdust with AR-15s pointed at my head. All because he gave me 0.2 grams less and I dared to test his. Gangster. Nah, but for real, these dudes are pretty reliable and usually sell quality stuff. But for some reason, they're always on about the crimes they've committed. Like, bro, you're really flexing the fact that you were arrested last night and will be serving two years minimum. My man, that sounds awful. Are, are you okay, bro? Need someone to watch the kids or something? Number 4. The Why Are You Trapping, Bro? This guy has it all. His parents are wealthy, he lives in a nice house, he gets to drive his dad's Rolls Royce, yet for some reason he has decided it is in his best interest to start selling kush. Like no complaints from me bro, I love hopping in the back of this $200,000 car just to buy $20 worth of Zaza, but couldn't you just drive like some premium Uber or something? You probably make more money, plus you know, it's legal. Nah, but for real, why they actually trap is cause they just wanna get hoes and be respected as a true gangsta. Even though I can never take them seriously. Like bro, why are you acting so fug? You do know if you ever short me, I'm just gonna tell your dad and he'll send you to boarding school, right? Number 5. The Middle School Trapper. Now this is the dude that only started trapping to fund the copious amounts of THC he smokes on a daily basis. And to be honest, I kinda respect the hustle. I mean it is kinda funny buying from these dudes though, hitting them up like... Then you pull up and they're always like at least 200 feet away from where they actually live because they don't want to get caught by their mama. But because these dudes usually smoke their own product, they always got a comment about what you're getting. This stuff hits different bro, it's more of a body high. Or, man this will get you real messed up. Or even sometimes. 
Yeah, man, I put in a little more because this isn't as good as the last stuff. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is that these guys are the most trustworthy plugs there are, so you don't ever need to be worried about being scammed. Only downside is that these plugs are very temporary, meaning they usually quit trapping in about 3 to 6 months. Probably because they mama beat them or something. Timmy, what is this? Uh, oh, that's nothing, mama. You ain't gotta worry about that. I know what it is. It's from the devil. Get over here, Timmy. No, mama. Don't. Leave me alone. Ah!